Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and during this training you and I are going to learn together because frankly even though I teach PowerPoint it's not something I use all the time. So when I opened up PowerPoint and I saw where it said new I did observe something called 3D presentations. So I'm going to use this as a way to teach you how to use a template or bring something into PowerPoint. The act of double clicking on this opens this up and allows me to create. I'm going to click on create. And what it did is it brought this PowerPoint presentation right onto my computer. Now I'm viewing it as if I were creating this presentation. But if I wanted to view it and see what it looked like as doing a presentation, I'm going to come up top to where it says slideshow and I'm going to click on from beginning. So when I did that, this screen came up. And what I want you to know about my office is I have two monitors. So over on the right hand monitor, which you can't see, is the actual presentation. On the left hand side is what me as the presenter would see. And you'll notice that up in the top right hand corner, I can see the next slide. So this allows me to work with this. What I do typically is I want to reverse this. So I go up to the display settings and I'm going to go swap the presenter view and the slideshow. So now I'm actually seeing this right on the screen. Now what I did not know is that you can use 3D models if you're an Office 365 subscriber. Just to clarify, Office 365 is now called Microsoft 365. They changed the name. It hasn't been updated here. But Office 365 or Microsoft 365, if I allude or say either one of that, that's what I want you to be aware of. So to move on to the next slide, I'm going to use the arrow key on my keyboard, the right arrow key. And when using the right arrow key, I'm going to go on to learn more about 3D modeling. So this just gives you some more information. And again, I'm not going to get into this except to say, that I'm using the right arrow key and you can go in and learn more about 3D modeling. So I'm just running through this real quick so you can see it and if this interests you I do recommend go in and take a look at it. There's something called 3D models and they have special file extensions or so it appears over here on the right hand side. Okay, So now we can move things around in a 3D manner. I've never used this. I don't imagine using this but it is sort of an interesting thing that you can work with. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a little bit about 3D modeling and how it works. And if you want to learn more, what I'd suggest you do is go to the PowerPoint blog or go to the website Free PowerPoint Training. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye now.